All right, time to continue on with some more Baldur's Gate. All right, um... <coughs> okay, so I have to go to the government district. That's where I left off the last time. I gotta find... Oh, I was already here. Alright, so we're going to talk to these locals here. We are aware that Athka is one of the wealthiest cities in the world. Why, with our colonies in Matstika, there is more gold flowing through the city of coin than anywhere anywhere east. Okay, that really didn't do me anything. Um, hmm. If I was a... Okay, let's see here. If I was Sir Sarles... Just of a state. All right, so it's right here. How are you? Um, excuse me, sir. You, you, you look like a warrior. Are, are you at work? Could you help me? Inskimu are the greatest warriors, small one. I will crush your foes into a little foe-shaped chunky bit. Who dares pick on you? Just point the way. I, I don't have any foes, sir. No, foes. I am really. I trust those who prey on children no farther than they can be thrown. Even if I manage to throw them pretty far, and throw them I shall. Eh, who wonders what you need a warrior for when you have no foes? Oh, no, sir. I was sent to find someone who could help my village. But I had all my things stolen and then nobody can help me. What? Boo is outraged. See his fury? It's small, so look close. Trust me, it's there. What is wrong with your village, small one? How can we heroes help? Who is he to speak on our behalf? I'm from Imsvale in the Uma Hills. People have been disappearing. Some of them have turned up, but they're all turned inside out and mad. Minsk has seen, been inside out and angry before, and it is never a good thing. Sometimes it frightens even Boo. No, no mad is angry, sir. Mad is crazy. Oh! Minsk has never been crazy, no sir. Being inside out was bad enough. Is there more, little boy? And, and even worse, everyone says they see strange beasts out in the hills. Everyone's so frightened. There's even talk about that Umar herself has returned. Then heroes are certainly needed. Heroes like Minsk and Boo and me. Where is your village, small one? Together we will save the day. <clears throat> oh, I can show you where it is on your map. I'm sure Minister Lloyd would... Be ever so grateful if you could aid the village. Everyone is terribly frightened. <sighs> Nothing removes fear better than a good sword and a swift kick in the evil. We shall go to your village and do what heroes do, right? Sure. You would? Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. When you get to Innsvale, talk to Mr. Lord. He can tell you everything else. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> We shall go and save the village for the boy. I will crush the evil, all the evil, even the small rodent sized evil. Although that's more Boo's job. I hope you intend to go to this village soon. A visit to Greener Lands would be welcome after our trek through this crowded city. Well, you got the look of an adventurer about you. I've been one myself. Be twice stints as a turnip salesman, that is. Occasionally, the markets get down, and the formerly self-respecting purveyors of fine veggies are forced to prostitute their abilities in the form of advertising. What I'm getting at, oh, so friendly one, is that I have items to sell that you are especially sell you that are especially created by yours truly to aid one of the dangerous past heirs. They're known as Jen Jensen's. That's me. Flash, flash a master bruiser mate. That's a mouthful. Now pay attention. You take one of these babies and chuck it at average Joe Oak, close your eyes real tight, and whoosh! He's running around in circles, clutching at his eyeballs and screaming and yelling like Uncle Sven after three days on a turnip beer bender. I trust all as well. Hold no, in the name of the Enemy Revenue and Taxation Board. Ah, not again. That bottom feeding turnip hating scum sucking friggin' 
Nothing better to do than stop an honest businessman from selling high-quality illegal flashes for a reasonable price. Here he comes. Cover for me. I trust all this well. Jan Jensen, no much to this M. You have been charged with tax evasion and the illegal sale of illegal items in an illegal manner. Illegally. You know, I think whoever wrote this here should get paid extra just for using the word illegal. Track old friend. You do me a great wrong. I would never break the law. As my pappy always said, enough. You'll not sidetrack me with your cursed tales again. I'm smarter than you think. Shut up, you. Latrine duty beckons. That's better. We've been on to you for days, Jensen. We've caught you in the very act of selling your dangerous and illegal contraptions. What a cruel fate. Falsely accused by an old friend. I'm not your friend, Jensen. You're not anyone's friend. Oh, that's it. Do you enjoy guarding used chamber pots? Sorry, sir. I swear this job will land me in the in an asylum. And who might you be? You're certainly no regular customer to this felon. Well, did this gnome try to sell you illegal merchandise, specifically flashes he calls them? Aha! Uh -huh. Jan Jansen, we have a witness. Take him into custody. As for you, you have done a good deal and entitled to a reward of 100 GP. If you believe that he should be free, you are welcome to come down to Garners and pay his fine. The fine shall be 800 gold. The guard is located on the opposite side of this square. Well, worry about that later, and Wait. Everyone meet here. Because right, it seems like one of our guys got uh, lost. Alright, so where did he say I have to go? Regardless, we'll get on the opposite side of the square. Okay, so we'll we'll cross that path later. And how much gold do I have? Oh, I got plenty here. But you know what? I'll get plenty more when the time comes. So where's the guardhouse at? He says it's on the opposite side. Um. Well. Well. I'll find it some other time. Yes, sir. May we have some assistance to you? Have you business with the Gistees? Sir Sorrows is a guest at the moment. No doubt you are from the some church or another. Uh, you are expected. Try not to track your dirt about too much. You must be the messengers come to beg the services of Sir Sars. It's a great honor to be refused by him. So don't feel bad when you leave empty handed. Yes, 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 whatever you say. Just try to move quickly when you enter or exit my home. My social club is green with envy of Sir Sars coming here. But your presence is an eyesore. Be gone, commoner. I have my own. And who want you be? Oh, no doubt you have come to take your case before Sir Sars. And he might scold for you. Well, one of the temples, are you? I see. It makes no never mind to me. And I think it matters little to Sir Sars as well. He's concerned with the creation, not with who might own his own work. It's a great honor to have him here. We are simply the height of the social circuit right now. The enemy of all the nobles we are. Do try and keep them to the sides while here, will you? And I very wealthy people coming to see the artists, and I don't want people dawdling with the messengers. Sure. Alright, there he is. Who is it? Might I ask why you have disturbed my meditation? Oh, yes, yes, yes. One of those bloody churches sent you, didn't they? Must be because everyone else understands the word no. Which one are you from? And your offer's the same as the others. Gold and the satisfaction of serving the one true whatever. I have the favor of every minstrel noble in the city now. What do I need? What do I need the backing of a church for? Such institutions demand much of a person. What I really need is to work in the medium of my choice. You 
I recall the name of one that was referred to me on my last visit. Gerolda was her name, I believe. Speak with her. She has exotics occasionally. Try the promenade. Now go. I have to work for whatever church acquires the necessary materials. If not yours, then another. 200 pounds of illithium, or I go back to enjoying my holiday. You know, I gotta be honest. For a place that calls itself an estate, this is not very impressive. Ugh. And you know what? This would be an opportune time to rest up since I gotta go to the promenade anyways. to the promenade. So I gotta go to the... Well, that was something. Exactly. Oh, it's just a uh, section of town. All right. Back to the promenade. All right, I gotta go to the ore merchant. Actually, I want to go to the inn first so I can rest. The ore merchant's right over there. Perfect. Anyways, let's watch my <sighs> people attempt to traverse a simple nav point. center. It's so picky. How's that? I mean, honestly, they really weren't that far apart. I have no patience for cities. 
Our stay had best be a short one. I'll see to it. Oh. I carry too much. As How can I help? Your items on the ground. Hey, go back. Here. I think the ore merchant's here. Unless it's only during the day. Because it's night right now. Ooh. That reminds me. I can go to the temple and uh steal that item. Characters doing. Well, they only got a long ways to go. He can dual class. All right. Well. That's right, I can do this. The Temple of Talos. Because it's night. Aren't very, isn't very good. We can open locks. Glad to be of assistance. I trust you have no hostile intentions. I'm waiting. I see an amulet from the weather mistress, huh?
Who's got the other potions? He does. Unless I actually have to pickpack it off of her. But Yoshiro's pickpacking skills are pretty weak. Mistress Meta, so... You know what? I'm gonna save it here in case something goes wrong. Not exactly what I had in mind. Yeah, that's probably not what I had in mind. Okay, so she didn't have it. Um, hmm. Okay, let's reload. Okay, so yeah, this is not what she had. Um, let me take a look again here. Unless I have it. Hold on, am I even in the right am I even in the right place? Yeah. Temple of Talos. Okay, so we gotta go back to the docks. I'll see to it. What is he doing here? Strange little man. Well, anyways, let's uh, go back to the docks.
I sold not only the amulet, but I also sold a few other things too. Which reminds me, I gotta start selling some of this stuff. You're back at last. I'll cancel the order to kill you then. You have a few skills we might find useful after all. Now let's have a look at that amulet. It's a mystery how they walk with a dinner plate around their necks. I'll find what the other garbage sent to Calumshot. They like jewelry big, I hear. Now let's put you to some real work. I haven't the time to pill around with you. So my right hand will keep you busy until you can work for me personally. His name is Edwin. Bloody good spellcaster. But he likes his luxuries. Usually he happens to adventure. I hate the road. He's on the third floor above us. Get going. Nice. Alright, so she can now get another uh, level up here. Hmm. Let's make it a single weapon. Oh, she can equip a mace, that's right. It's probably best left to me. Yeah. I think I still have a stitch in my leg from lying in that cold cell. It's good to be up and moving. Well, that was interesting, to say the least. Okay, so he's on the third floor, but we gotta. But I have a few things to take care of. Let's go back to because I have to go back to the promenade. There is actually a tavern here. Hold on. Hold up. This is understandable. It has been years since we last spoke. Far too long, really. Forgive me, but I require a little more information. Your name again? <coughs> My name is Pollier, Baron Plowier, of the Calumsham Plowiers. Come now, you must have some inkling. No, no, I am terribly sorry, but your face is unfamiliar. Perhaps if you told me what you do. My name means nothing. Nothing? I am Baron Plowier. Lawyer! You ruined me! Not remembering is an even greater insult. You are why I am destitute today. You and your hopper can't accuse me of breeding slaves in Calumshan. My business at Etzcala were taken. I was made a pauper, and you do not even remember? I remember well, but I wanted you to say it, and I wanted others to hear. Quite the outburst, Mr. Clothier. I assume you are still at odds with your new life? You. You. This is the type of insolence I was talking about. It is not enough that you ruin a man. You must also berate him. Mr. Plowyer, I wanted you dead instead of merely humiliated. The courts did not seem to think death was warranted, so they claim your assets instead. That you live in poverty is gratifying, if you must live at all. I would suggest you change your tone. I am not in the mood to, for giving charity to old slavers. I haven't lost your fire, I see. Still a harbor. This scrawny lot one too. That fellow Khalid you were once with was a better compliment. Is he here as well? He has none of your concern. If you value your teeth, you will not speak that name again, you dirty head. Uh, yes, very well. How about your companions, Jahiro? Do they count themselves among the Harpers as well?
Perhaps I should include you in this matter then, but Professor Jahira, my dear, I am not bound you by accident. You ruined me, slandered my name. Well, the slander is going a bit far. You actually were a slaver, you know. It's not slander if it's proven. That is beside the point. What matters is that you ruined me and I'm going to ruin you. It is my gift to you. You will be slowly destroyed just as my family was. It is my curse, my nasty, nasty curse. A little something I made just for you. I may not see your lingering death, but I will smile knowing it will happen. Tonight I sleep beneath rags so I can afford this wasting death for you. Nobody made you a slaver. You just love the prophet. Now you blame those that caught you because you cannot take responsibility. You are a weak, weak man. Ah, but I am a weak, weak man that will live. Oh, you are a strong woman that will die. Give my regards to Belgard when you see him. No, I'm fine. I just felt a little strange moment. That, that bad excuse for a slaver. He's cursed me. Damn him. That may be my only option. If it was tailored to me, I might resist removal of my normal meat. I doubt Ployer would have done this if the solution were simple. I have a few options. Player mentioned that he lived in squalor, suggesting he may be in a poor section of the city. Not likely to find him quick, though. The mages with him were more outcasts that might be traceable. Ask at the government building, as all magic is regular in Atka, if they will talk. He also mentioned Belgard, a merchant that helped expose Ployer. He has frequented the Copper Coronet, and the bartender Bernard might know where his whereabouts. Very well, I thought you'd like to try and find Belgard. <coughs> it has been some time since we talked. Oh, she's cursed. As long as she doesn't die. We're gonna come back later. I really want to get this curse off of uh, Jahira as soon as possible. I don't think he can remove this curse at a temple. At least I don't think. Yeah. Uh-oh. We got company. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ooh, five magic resistance, huh? Hmm. That would benefit someone who actually... Well, I guess. Paralysis, huh? Well, if this does more than the katana, I'll do it. Immunity to hold and paralysis, that is going to be beneficial for sure. I mean, no doubt about it. Darts. That doesn't do you any good. Unless they're actually going to equip a mace. But I think our best duties is best as a, uh... Someone who uses projectiles instead of a, uh... Melee weapon. That's just my take on it. Alright, so let's go back to the promenade. That's probably best left to me. Rest up and then we'll go get that ore. Spaces I can use. No, I can't this carry anymore. Oh, sorry, I dropped something. Let's give it a good shake and see what falls out. Oh, brother. I have had to drop what you gave me. I have only two arms and no more space. I shouldn't have bought so many bullets. Now that I think about it. There's also a note too, so. Hmm. So let's take a look at this note here. She might help us out with our items. All right, so let's get rid of some of the stuff here.
probably end up selling this for sure. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. Let's go to the slums. I shall go to the ore merchant first, then we'll go to the slums. If it must be done. Get some counterfeit, uh, hit the for uh. So what do I know here? She's a scorcher this morning and doesn't care to hit the high seas of Mastica. Water deep in a new amp showdown for resources. Helps support us the apple of new amp's eye. And Tim Waterdeep seeking to expand her influence and ruthlessly plunder under the skies of diplomacy. The Council of Six sent an armada of helm priests and cell swords to expel the Waterhaven traders before their natives sniffed the winds of change. The Seven Heavens forbid if metal or magic should fall into the wrong hands in the colonies. Trouble is a brewing, gathered friends. Count on it. You heard it here first. 
Bad news travels fast and misfortune spreads like wildfire. Your humble servant reads from the true book, bringing you the latest news of the realms. Interesting. Alright, so... Ah, it's a cup of coronet, of course. Talk to Bernard. Speak then. Is your heart filled with courage or have to be stepped in cowardice? I trust that you are counting as true. Tell me. Maybe a force of evil for good. Perchance I have found worthy companions. I seek to be united in the most noble order of the Radiant Heart, and I'll swoop with first. Have you need a strong warrior, my lord? So be it. Alright, so. done yet. So we gotta find this Bernard character. He can't be far. There he is. Oh, these lots you are traveling with running you ragged. I'll have them fish for shark in the bay with no net today. Bernard, I'm fine. I just need some information. I need to find Belgard. Oh, I'm sorry, Jahira, but he's not around anymore. I ain't had the pleasure of his company in nigh on two. Bernard! Bernard, this is important. I need to contact him. I know you can connect with the network when you need to, so... Oh, Jahira, you, you misunderstand me. Belgard, he... He's dead. Dead? When? A while back, he got sickly just like... Just like you. What is it? A plague that only affects Harpers? I knew your lad would anger the wrong god or... Bernard, please, I need to know where they found Belgard. I also need to know if you can see Baron Ployer. Found Belgard in these slums. Too many tracks to tell if he was dumped there. And Ployer, he ain't welcome here. Damn glad you exposed him to hero. I see. Thank you, Bernard. I, I really must be going now. You take care now, please. Alright, so... Okay, so we gotta get out of here and go to the eastern section of the slums.
Let's start here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, I was already here once. So his body's gotta be here somewhere. In the east end of the slums, so... So this would have to be it then. Okay, so this led nowhere. Our stay had best be a short one. Eminence was barging here every time you feel like filling your arrest quotas? Hold. You're not soldiers, Emna. This changes things. Destroy these fool men. Captain Hagen should give a pearl to the one who makes the best kill. Really? Jesus. Well, luckily we don't have to start too far back. I need her alive to get this stupid curse off of her.
got something. I'm waiting if it must be done. Yeah, that's much better. until he's out of a stun state.
sea's bottom, sure enough, eh? Stay. Leave them. Besides, I don't have enough fire arrows to the. Uh... Ooh, perfect. I mentioned fire arrows, and uh, what can I get out of it? Yoshimo is willing. Can't be out of that. You need fire arrows to finish them off, just like. Those last two kids just call me ma'am? I could have sworn that they were talking to me.
want to save these fire arrows for an, for an emergency. side. Okay, so I guess we do have to go back out the old-fashioned way here. But where is that body at? Here somewhere, but uh, where? Go to the government uh, district and see what we can learn from there. Oh, I wonder if I could pay the fee here in the prison. Let's see what he has to say. He would be most pleased. Master Talgarius can be found in the government building behind me. You may go within. Do not tarry over long, my friend. Well, it's... Speak up. Speak up. 
What is it you wish? You are obviously out of place here, so unless you have pressing business, I am very busy and do not wish to be bothered by such as you. We are not an employable organization. Ours is a mandate given by the state. All other interests are those of digital men, but not the group. They will not find what you need here. Be gone. Where was the third place? Oh, Bernard. Well, hmm. Mages in black and green, what is your business with my fellows? We are available for hire. It is not business to know, or perhaps he just pretends to not know. I do not need, I know of them, and you will relay your words if you wish. That is not a productive attitude. I am offering an appealing alternative. People will not get past your emotion, and we will have nothing further to say. If you have encountered us before, then less sociable circumstances now I'm offering our assistance in performing a service for you. We performed a service for your enemy, but that contract has expired, though we have been asked to perform another task in the future. We find Mr. Ployer distasteful, even in comparison to others of his ilk. It would not to serve us, us to make other arrangements around that task in the future. Okay. You will find him eventually, and we are to be there. Or perhaps we are not. That is the offer I make today. We're not participating in players' little excess. We might charge all oh, a thousand gold pieces. This is a much lower figure than the original service cost. Very good. We shall not meet at the point in time. We must just survive that. We are paid to not help a more than a prominent creature. Good day. Hopefully, uh, For the glory of so what do we do now? And plus, I got more than enough gold here, so we could afford the services. Oh yeah, that's right, I think I can pay off that one dude's fees. I wonder, and what did she do to these people that they would burn her? Not that anyone would need a reason, I suppose. You women are mad. I have done nothing to any of you. I seek only to make my way without molestation. Why have you done this? Why? You nothing. You are a drow elf, and you're not. That is as good a reason as any. Ye shall be silent, evil one. The power of the maid of misrule will be demonstrated here today. Oh, yeah. 
your journey into the next world. Beg for forgiveness. Beg for salvation. Hope that the cleansing fire will save ye. I have no love for Drow, or for this Drow in particular, but it seems that she has done nothing to deserve this fate other than simply be a Drow. This is not justice. It is I, Baconia de Vere. You must remember, my life depends on it. Please, I beg of you, save me from these madmen. What is going on here? What crime? The crime of being dark and evil, of course. Look on her fool, let's get... Okay. Wow, this is just pure... Wow, this is just pure hatred and discrimination here. She is a drow, and all the drow deserve no mercy. And no, I am not going to read that sentence. We found her in the market, attempting to hide her identity. No doubt a spy. We have taken the law into our own hands, and it is good. Who died and put you in charge? Stand aside and watch, or join us if you wish, my lord. Either way, justice will be done. Never. The foul creature is receiving only the just punishment for... I'm going to stop that there, too. So how do I get her free? Um, Praise the goddess! My thanks for your timely intervention. What are you doing? Why have ye interfered with the judgment of Bishaba? Her will must be shown to the people. Allies of the foul creature, allies of the troll. This can never be a <laughs> run for it. So what is she? She is a cleric. Huh. What is she? So what is she proficient with? Warhammer Mace on a sling, huh?
ugly to you? It's too bad, so. Hammer mace in a sling. All right. So what am I supposed to do about this curse now? All right. Um. too. sequence. Life is strength. This is not to be contested. It seems logical. You live, you affect your world. But is it what you need? You are different inside. This woman lives in their strength. She lost her parents to plague, her husband to war, but she persevered. Her farm has prospered, her name is respected, and her children are fed and safe. She lived as she thought she should. And now she is dead. Her land will be divided, her children will move on, and she will be forgotten. She lived a good life, but she had no power. She was a slave to death. I wonder if you are destined to be forgotten. Will your life fade in the shadow of greater beings? You are born of murder, the very essence of that which takes life. You have power if you wish it. Who is he talking to? I mean, it's just a room full of... Statue? Of, uh... People holding still and a bunch of dead corpses. Huh. Really? But the consequences are so very real. Your actions affect so many others than yourself. You will come to realize how little choice you have. You will do what you must become what you must, or others will pave your cowardice. You will accept the gifts of the truth. Hmm. 
trust you are here in good faith. Okay, so yeah, she's only here during the day. That's already nightfall, so. What did that say? Your wizard spells have been disabled. Well, honestly, we would benefit from a spellcaster, so. That's well, not to mention uh, having. Oh, we can add another one here. You always gotta have healing. Always need to have a healing spells available. She could have benefited from it, but that's all right. I didn't know until... I'm probably sure along the way there's gonna be better armor for her, so... I'm just gonna leave it at that.
needs an armor, more or less. Get her a hide armor. I would get her this large shield plus two, but that's going to set us back. I would, too. Which doesn't make any sense. Why would a large shield be unequipable, but if it's a large shield plus two, she'd be able to equip it. That that just seems a little weird. But I think for the time being here, I will get her a large shield. Well, I can't. No. Let's get her a small shield done. Back with it. Oh. There we go. I forgot she had a split mail on, so. It's probably best for me. Didn't lose much anyway, so. Oh well. So let's. We gotta go back to the slums. Find that dead body it's east. Because I really want to get this curse off of a uh, Jahira. Because the sooner I can get this curse off, the better. For sure. Perfect. Oh, I can't because it doesn't have any value. Give me some there. Hmm. All right, so, anyways. Say where though. If it must be done, I don't look around. I'm not going to take anything. Discerning eye when I see one. Well, having a mace would never hurt. Glasses of identification. Ooh. Identify three times a day? That's not a bad item, actually. That's not a bad item. But, I have to save it for another day. I prefer 
prefer she used range. So it seems like we got another store here. Well, anyways, let's see if we can find more about this Ugh, player's body. This is worth it. It's not the derelict home. There he is. Ah, you're here. I see you've dragged your sorry soon to be carcass here to see me. Are you here to beg, perhaps to grovel? Oh. Are you here to beg, perhaps to grovel? I don't mind. I even clean cleaned my shoes. Despicable. <laughs> you despicable wretch. You knew I would come here. Of course. I am your only link to life. So what choice do you have? Come now, grovel for your life before me. I haven't got all day. I am I am not here to grovel, player. You would sooner get that from my corpse. And I will, unless I get the satisfaction I want now. Come now, I can cure you if you drop to your pretense of dignity and get your sickly carcass on its knees. I... <coughs> I am not here to grovel. I may be weak, even dying, but you won't get that. I have come to take what is mine. I... <coughs> will be free of you... of your... You are about to collapse and cannot even attack. Now, of course, you have to grovel in pantomime. What could be more degrading than that? You mean to touch my heart to reform me? Reform to what? I was the wealthiest slaver on the coast. I bought and sold her better, better cattle than you will ever be. Now that I can't show my face less to be, to be spanned on, she will pay it as will you. Meet my hirelings. My last favors bought them. Well worth it. I think you will agree. Attack! Now! Uh, now! I command you, kill them! Where are you? No! Damn you! It's happened again! Everyone against me! Everyone! Aye, you have won today, but someday I will. But this is murder! I am defenseless before you! Life. Pathetic, am I? Pathetic? I was... I was above all. I was more than you will ever be. I was... Majors or not, you will be dead. Such weakness. I swear, if I meet like this again, I will not let the court spare him. I'll, I'll be better after a night's rest. All right. So let's get to the inn and let's get this done. Progress here.
There's something very wrong. I I've been having nightmares, but when I wake, it is still there. Clean. I thought I was stronger than this. Only to come impression over what cannot be changed. The writings of Alondo? I, like I learned likewise as a child. We have more in common than I thought. Yes, yes, we should be going. I am fine now. Thank you. Alright, it's a good thing she's back to normal. Let's go. But I think I have to go through several gates just to get to where I need to go. And I think just like in the first game, if you dilly dally too long, you will lose companions. Unless I got what I want, so I think we'll be off now.
southwest, huh? I wonder if this is it. But it, but it wasn't very specific on where it is. There he is. Hmm. All right, let's get going here to uh, the gates before we were really, when we were really interrupted. But at least the man is safe, so I guess that counts for something. Unwashed one, I would have a word with you. I was wondering when you would turn up Zent. I had suspect our parting would not be permanent when we last met, and it appears my suspicions were correct. I'm not here to address you, heartless Harper Wench. I'm here to appeal to your erstwhile companion. I saw you dealing with those Harpers, but it's obvious you are not a Harper yourself. You would be willing, then, to render me a service regarding them. What are you talking about? The Harpers you delivered the poison man to, or were you too idiotic to know they were Harpers? I require your inadequate service for a job. Be wary, the Harpers will not brook interference lightly, and the Zent likely holds only the worst of intentions in his heart. Yes, yes, I am not asking you to walk in and slaughter them now, am I? I think, as that may be, I am not such a blundering fool as your friends might suppose. My friend Monteran has been taken captive by those irksome Harpers. I would have you enter their building and find Monty for me. I, well, you're the one that knows them. They're not going to kill you just because you're looking for the whereabouts of a spy, a thief. Bah! Excellent. Go to the building and return once you've found them. Short, halfling thief. Even one of your intellectual capacity can't miss them. Well, if you wish to investigate what has happened to the spy, that is up to you. I suggest caution and perhaps some common sense. The Harpers will even speak to us, which I doubt. They have certainly not revealed what they did with the halfling. Best not to ask about him directly. Huh. One thing certainly leads to another, and another, and another, and another. Kind of like the domino theory. One event that triggers another, and another, and another. But I really want to help uh, Nalia out first. What do you mean? I don't mean anything bad by that. You just don't have to look at one of the locals. Chosen the way you wear your tunic or even how you stand. Just thought I'd offer a friendly word or two before you experience otherwise. This place can treat newcomers quite rude sometimes. Oh, not much. I don't claim to be an authority or anything. Just like meeting new people. I say one thing though. I don't go out much at night. We've got this thieves' guild. I think we already know about them. Anything else? Old Trevor, what is your business here at Kala? I am a simple merchant. I deal in spices and skills. Spices? Is that a fact? Stand and deliver whilst I search you. Not really. There is no cost for that. I think there is. Here then. Is this some of your spices? Why, yes. Yes, they are. Though you were to think them to suspect, would a few gold in a simple turn your eye? A few gold, you say? Hmm, I don't know. I think you will find my spices well with it. It is especially difficult to acquire lotus petals for such a dark hue. Almost. 
Lack, you have a deal on your way then. Thank you very much, good sir. Give me some directing. I'll see to you. You have been waylaid by enemies. How did you get into it, Benjamin? It's a dangerous business, as you well know. Any one of us could die without even a moment's notice. What's my name? What do you mean? I don't remember this man who killed your stepfather. Who was your father? Baal, the god of murder? But there could be others, other Jonas of Baal? That's an interesting story. Very interesting. Shall I have to think about it? That was not the definition of close, I don't know what was. Sat here, then our guards fell back and the keep has fallen. It will be hard to save now. The mouse is sat us to the west. I should have told you previously, but others have banned me when they found out we are beset by trolls. The main assault began just a few nights ago. Or still, they seem to have some sort of snake creatures with them. I never seen anything like that, but I guess I've never seen a lot of things. Trolls are dangerous enough. I heard they are permanently killed by only by fire or acid. I don't know a thing about the other creatures. Maybe we're driven here by elves, or by the new settlements south of Tether. I don't know their numbers. I only know we must rescue my family. Enter north of the palisade through a secret door along the wall of the keep. I used to sneak it out at night. Auntie never approved, but I didn't care. We should go soon. Waiting will be just make it worse. I'll try to leave once we are inside. After we find Daleson, we can concentrate on the trolls. You know what? I'm gonna save it here. Alright. Alright, I think that looks good enough. Alright. Thank you to those who watched. I'll see you all next time.